Because I'm a Girl is a plugs campaign to improve the lives of girls and to fight the discrimination that they often face. So uh, the campaign globally is aiming to directly touch the lives of up to 4 million girls. That's in the 70 countries that plan works and in many other countries that we hope to influence to take up this, this campaign. So we officially launched this campaign on the 11th of October this year, which is the day when we also commemorate the first ever International Day of the Girl, which is a day that we are hoping will bring people together to honestly discuss the issues that girls face and how girls and women are more than half of our population in Zimbabwe. And leaving them behind in, in terms of development leaves us, leaves us at an obvious disadvantage. They, there are issues that we really need to take on board if we hope to be able to end poverty soon. How can you man be so cruel? She doesn't have to be afraid anymore. She doesn't need to be scared anymore. Hoping that 10 years from now, we have an increased number of girls who have been able to access education. And they are not only agents for change in their own communities, contributing to educating their siblings, contributing to ending poverty in their family and their communities. But they are also advocates for education for other girls and boys. They are also advocates for a system in which girls and boys have equal chances of, get, of, of um, accessing an education. They have equal chances of staying in school and sitting for exams, which isn't the current situation. We have a lot of girls entering into the education system but not being able to finish for various reasons. Yeah. This, this campaign is four or five years and we are hoping it will go beyond the four or five years that we have targeted for the campaign. But the hope is that in, in 10, 15 years when the girls that we are working with now have become women, we are able to see tangible changes not only in their lives but as they are also working for change in the lives of the generations that are coming up behind them. So girls' education is a first step in empowerment for girls, families, but contributing positively to the economy, not, not just for community development, but for the whole country as a whole, right? This is what PLAN is committing to working towards under the Papas and the Girl campaign. And now we are in the run-up to the launch of the campaign, but it's, it's got different angles, it's got fundraising, components, advocacy and programming, and these are things that we are already starting to work on already. And, uh, uh, in closing, I'd like to invite you all to be a part of this because I'm a girl campaign. There are issues that each and every one of us can contribute to. We are sisters, we are, we are mothers, we are aunts. The men in here are fathers, we are uncles and brothers. In our families, in our communities, we have a sphere of influence. People who, who listen to our voices, whose decisions are affected by the things that we say. We each have an opportunity to change the life of at least one girl. Thank you very much. Shuja, Shuja, Musi Jana, Musi Jana, Shuja, Shuja, Musi Jana, Manasika, Nairobi, Shinga.